Hello and thanks for joining us for this edition of Open Heavens Reflections based on daily devotional written by Pastor E. Adeboye, the General Vancea of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I'm really glad to be with you and uh, my name is Weike Christian Atolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic for consideration today is Satan Visits on Purpose. Bible passage is taken from the book of John, chapter 10, from 10 to 11. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. Our memory verse is still from that particular chapter 10, verse 10. The, of John, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. May you receive the abundant life of our Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Our reflections. The Bible has told us categorically that the devil is a thief and that he has a mission which is to steal, to kill and to destroy. The devil could be brutal, but he is not a fool. In fact, he is a great strategist. That is why we are told not to be ignorant of his devices, lest he takes advantage of us. The devil does not show up and start screaming, saying, I am the devil, I am the devil, I have, I have come to attack you. Rather, he comes in subtle ways and even he comes in a way that, you know, to, 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 to just subtly attack with, with tact and with precision. Why the devil is not a fool is because he knows how to use his ammunition with dexterity. The devil is not bothered about people who have no strategic value to his kingdom. Once the devil is after you, you need to recognize that he has seen something in your life that portends danger to his kingdom. And that's why we have to be on alert. Let's take a few examples from the Open Heavens Daily Guides today. In the book of Mark chapter 5, there was the madman of Gadara. This man was supposed to be an evangelist for the Lord. The devil decided through one entry point or another to get him laden with demons that were so many to be described as legion. He was so possessed to the extent that the only place that could accommodate him was the cemetery. He would dwell and cut himself with stones. No one could stop him with the strongest chain. The Lord had to cross to the other side and get him delivered. There was also the woman who later became a treasurer for the Lord in Luke chapter 8 from 1 to 3. Her name was Mary Magdalene. She had some demons in her. The demons decided to domicile in her temple in order to stop the grace of God upon her life and to incapacitate her. But thank God the Lord delivered her and she achieved her purpose in life. Finally, there was the woman of Samaria who had had five husbands. Come to think of it, she must have been a very beautiful woman with virtues that would have profited the kingdom. But the devil seized her marriage and used the instability to truncate her ministry. Thank God again, he delivered her as well and she became a great evangelist for him. Is the devil trying to infiltrate your, your life? Recognize that he has seen something in you that is worthy of attack and you need to guide your life jealously so that the devil does not take charge of your life. Remember, he is also a coward. Our action point. Father, disappoint every evil plan or purpose against my destiny. In fact, it is a prayer point and I do pray right now that the Lord will disappoint every evil plan of the enemy, every evil purpose against your destiny, against the destiny of your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed in him. Bye for now.